My name is Graham Murphy. I'm a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the Aeroqual Dust Sentry. These are dust monitoring devices. All right, um, we supply with this instrument. It's just here's the, here's the instrument itself. We have the um, uh, 10, uh, PM10 Cyclone. If you need uh, different cyclone, uh, uh, you know, a 2.5 or a, or whatever, um, we can supply those. Uh, here are the fittings for mounting the device and um, the the manual on the disc and the device itself and the manual. Now this instrument is AC powered. Um, if you need DC power just simply contact us we can, ar can arrange that. Okay typically you'd be putting a the 50 mil uh, mounting pole using this mounting kit. You simply hang the instrument on these clips. Very easy. All we do Here's our uh, cyclone, so we simply mount that on top, connect the AC power to it. Um, again, if you need DC, you, we, we can supply that. And uh, turn the instrument on. So very easy to, to get this thing going. It runs off the web. now. It's already turned on in fact. Here's our main switch. Just simply switch this on. So I'm going to now power up two instruments and we'll take you through what you get because it's just simply a matter of logging into the internet and looking at the results. Okay, we've got the two instruments working. Now Tech Rentals will send you an email. Okay, here's the link in the email. So I'm just gonna click on it. And what that will do, that will take us to Ericqual. We've now got to create a, a username and password. Yeah, now I'll submit that. So, ah, now I've got to log in. Okay, All right, we log in and it makes some comments. So I've read the terms of the license. Yes, don't try this again. Now here's the dashboard that comes up. Okay, we've lo now we uh, we log into cloud.eraqual after following that link and creating a uh, password, etc. Now we need to configure the instrument, so I'm going to click on here. All right, we come up here to the uh, we've got the settings of the two instruments. Now here's one of the instruments we can look at, or uh, we can select the other instrument. Now. You'll notice this brings up a map. Now, okay, I'm going to come over here back to configure the instrument. Um, we can change the name if you need to. We need to set the correct time. At the moment, this is set to Melbourne time, but you may need to set to Adelaide. You may need to adjust for summer time, etc. When we click on this box here, it pops up and we can set a physical location. So I'm going to roll the dice here roll the, uh, the mouse and it zooms in, so I'm going to say OK. Our physical location of this one is actually there. So if I hit click on the tick, we've moved it. Now we've got to click down the bottom here, we've click on save. Now I'm going to go and have a look at the second instrument here, and I drop down box, hang on, yeah, we'll have a look there. And we'll hit click on configure the instrument. Um, again, we've used the asset number, but you may change that. Um, so let's change the position of this one. Let's pretend that we've not put this one there, but we've put it um, the front of the building instead. Okay. So we come down here, click on save. So that was um, 204183. We've modified. I'll just check whether we've got the 204. Um, 184 there to see where we've now we've got the two instruments and they're quite differentiated we've got the name etc so now let's have a look if we want to now look at um, the results for both instruments now these have been happen to have been running for a while now in this instrument box I can click on network mode when I click on network mode I come over here to manage data now that's the result 
in the, even though we're in network mode, this is the result for one of the instruments. Now I'm going to click on this instrument. Now it brings up both. Now we zoom in, we can see the difference between the two. We could select either instrument to look at the results of either instrument. But what I'm going to do is click select all. When I click on select all, except it's taking its time, don't know why. Um, I select both instruments, okay, I've selected that. Now I click this tick here. Now what I'll get is the results of both instruments. Another thing you can do, I'll go back to a single instrument mode. I'm going to select a particular instrument. Here I'm going to select one of those, I'll click on it, and I'm going to click on uh, configure it again. Now the other thing we've got down here is an alert. Now we can add an alert. Now, better to email it. Um, SMSs run out after a little while. So you can check your set point um, and uh, set an email address, etc. Uh, you have multiple alerts at multiple levels if you want to sort of, um, when the dust levels come up too high um, for each instrument. So you can configure those separately or together. So, the only other thing here is the fact I'll come back again, I'll set instrument uh, network mode, but we can simply download the data too. Um, averaging oh, the update button here, just a couple of things is that uh, we've also got um, the averaging period. If you have this on, if you've started it and you want to see the data coming out, if you have it on 30 minutes, you're not going to see anything for 30 minutes. So you've just set this to auto each time you. Um, you, you you do that now under the um, with the well, I'll go back to instrument mode again and we can um, click on table uh, that we can get a table out between a certain period of time etc but here under here is download the data um, five minute intervals um, we can between whatever period we need to click on download and it will come out as a comma separate, separated file. This software is very easy to use. Um, it's rather nice actually. So I'll just go back to network mode and compare the two graphs so we can get alarms out of these things. We can get, um, now I'm going to click on tick there and have a look at the data, um, you know, everything you need. Very clever little instrument and very easy to use. Thank you.